what's up guys welcome back to my channel my name is you today and if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome so on today's episode i'm going to be showing us how i made these beautiful boo-boos with this um neck collar and shaped design so guys if this is something you're interested in let's get right into the video so guys before i move ahead i just want you guys to know that this is actually a size 16 you know i just wanted to show you guys how it's going to look like on the body so this is for a size 16 and i am actually a size 8 so you can imagine how a size 8 is going to look like on me right so guys without further ado let's get right into the video so guys this is the material i'm going to be using this is kampala it is called batik and it comes in 4.5 yards they'll tell you it's five yards but it's actually 4.5 yards because by the time they've soaked this fabric in the dye they use it kind of shrinks right so this is 4.5 yards so now guys the first thing i'm going to be cutting is the back part first so what i'll do is just to you can see i'll go ahead now to fold this into two just like i'm doing so i'll just go ahead now to fold this into two so now the first thing i'm going to mark from the center you can see this is the center back remember this is the back so the neck wideness is going to be 3.5 inches so i'll just go ahead now to mark 3.5 inches for the neck wideness and the neck depth is going to be two inches you can see i'll just mark two inches and i'll roll that back into the center back and i'll make a little curve here so now this is the neck um measurement so now from that same center um back i'm going to you're going to take the measurement of um the middle of your shoulder down to where you want the sleeve to get to so for me for these clients you can see i'm going to be using 20 inches just measure from the middle of your shoulder down to your elbow or wherever you want the length of the sleeve to get to so now mine is going to be 20 inches mark this from the middle of the back from the middle of the clothes you can see this is 20 inches and now from that 20 inches i've marked i'm going to come down and mark the um arm o so you can see for me i'm going to use 10 inches and that is what i've gonna add to mark so i'll just connect this back to the shoulder measurements so if you're a smaller size you can go ahead to use nine inches so now the next thing i'm going to mark is the hip um the hip line so now the hip line is 24 inches you can see i'll go ahead to mark 24 inches and on this hip line i'm going to mark the hip circumference divided by four so now the hip circumference of this person is 48 so that's divided by four is 12 inches so i'll just go ahead now to mark 12 inches so from the center back and after that 12 inches i'm going to add five inches this is going to be for ease a lot of ease you want this to be very free remember that this is a boo boo so some people can go ahead to use the whole wideness of this um material but the client doesn't want this to be too big so now guys i'll just connect that you can see i'll connect that into the arm o measurement i made earlier so just make sure you make a little curve to get to where um your arm o measurement is you don't want to draw this in a straight line so now guys the next thing i'm going to do is to mark out the full length of this um dress or gown so now the full length of this person is 54 inches so i'll just go ahead to add three inches to that so guys you can see this is 57 inches i'm going to be using two inches to turn this in you know and the remaining one inch just to add to the length of the dress so now i'll connect the measurement from the hip i made earlier i'll just connect this straight down to the m of the dress so guys what i mean is that the hip circumference i marked plus five inches i connected that to the upper part and also to the lower part so there's no need to measure bust under bust waist there's no need for all of that so now i'll just go ahead now to cut out what i've marked you can see this is very simple i'll cut out my measurements i'll also cut out the neckline so guys don't forget that this is the back part we are cutting so i'll just keep this aside so i can cut the front part also so yeah it is guys 
for the front part the only difference between the back and the front is going to be the neckline so now the neck wideness is also going to be the same thing that's 3.5 inches and for the neck depth i'm going to mark 10 inches so i'll just connect this back into the center front so you can see and i'll connect this towards the beginning of this um material you can see what i'm doing so now just to ensure that this is also 3.5 inches you can see i'm just making sure this is 3.5 inches from the center front so now guys we are trying to achieve a v-shaped at this front so from the center front i'm going to go in by one inch you can see so from that one inch guys i'll just connect this in a straight line back to the beginning of this material so this is because i'm trying to achieve a v-shape here but this v-shape has um a little um allowance so don't forget to add the one inch so just like the just like what i did for the back my um lens is going to be 20 20 inches from the center front and from that 20 inches i'm going to come down by 10 inches for the arm or circumference just like i did for the front and after this the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the hip line which is 24 and on this hip line i'm going to mark the hip circumference divided by four which is 48 divided by four that is 12 inches i'm going to mark 12 inches and after i mark this 12 inches i'm going to add five inches again just like i did for the front so now i'll connect this back towards the armhole you can see and when i'm almost at the armhole i'll just make a little curve like so you don't want that place to be too sharp so just make a little curve then i'll mark the full length i'll measure out the full length of this dress so which is 57 just like i did for the back and i'll connect the hip measurements to the end of the dress so this is it guys this is a very simple simple stuff to make or style so i'll just cut this out and you can see what i'm cutting at the neck um so this is what the neck looks like remember the neck measurement we made this is what it looks like so now guys it is time to join the back and the front so i'll just make sure the shoulders are aligned and i'll use my pins to hold the two materials in place and i'll just hold the shoulders down by half of an inch i'll do the same thing to the other side so i'll take this to my sewing machine now to hold so here it is guys i've gone ahead to sew down both shoulders and i've turned it to the right side so this is what it looks like so now the next thing i'm going to do is to take the round measurement of what i have on the neck for the um front neck and back neck so just take what you have i'm trying to get the whole circumference of the neck so as to know the amount of the length i'm going to cut out for the neck color so you can see so for this neck circumference guys let's see what we have yeah so i have about 33 in okay 30 what's this i have about 33 inches yeah i'm correct so that's 33 inches so now guys i'm going to use this 33 inches to cut out the color so this is the material i'm going to be using for the color guys you can make use of duchess you can make use of bridal you can make use of crepe so this is crepe fabric so i'll just mark out the length of what i um, measured earlier on the neck so the neck um what i measured on the neck was 33 inches so i think i'll just cut out 34 inches to be on the safer side um and the wideness of this color is going to be 2.5 inches i want the neck color to be two inches and half inch is for joining this crepe to the material so this is 2.5 inches um and i'll just cut this out don't forget just add like one inch or two inch to the length of your color it is better for your color to be longer and have excess so you can just cut it off than for it to be shorter right so if i open up this color you can see it's about five inches so don't forget unfold it is 2.5 inches so now guys for the shape of um the neck design you know you can make use of you can be very creative in this aspect you can make use of any kind of shape you want so for me i'll just um cut out a square shaped a square shape rather so now what i'm measuring i i think i'm marking i'm marking 11 inches here yeah so i'm just trying to get a square shape and you know that would have um equal measurements on all four sides so here i think i marked um about 10.5 inches yeah 10.5 inches or 11 inches so 
i'll do the same thing here 10.5 inches you can see remember i'm trying to get a square shape and a square shape you know has um equal measurement on all four sides so i'll just cut this out just like i said you can be very versatile you can be very creative when it comes to creating this your neck design so what i'll do is i'll just try to cut out of this square i don't want the design to be you know just square shaped so i came in by 2.5 inches yeah and i'll come in by three inches on this other side and you can see what i'm doing <laughs> i'm just being dramatic you don't need to measure that just cut out a little from what you have and you can see so what i'll go ahead to do now is to iron my um, neck collar and i'll also iron the four sides of this square i'll iron all the sides so that it will be easy for me i'll just iron this down by half of an inch so it will be easy for me to sew down when i'm done when i'm about to sew rather so here it is guys i'm gonna add to sew all the sides you can see what i mean so that this will be easy for you when you are about to sew so the first thing i'm going to do is to first join the collar to the um booboo so now starting from the beginning of this middle front here you can see where i'm pointing at here i'll just place my collar there so don't forget we are joining down by half of an inch and i'll use my office paint to hold down or to pin down the collar to the booboo so i'll just do this so that it can be easy for me when i am about to sew so i'll pin down the collar around the material you can see what i say when i say it's better for you to have excess than for your collar to be shorter so i'll just cut out the excess this is what it looks like i'm gonna have to sew this down so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'll just turn this you can see what i'm doing i'll turn the collar like so and i'll take this to this to the sewing machine now to sew this down i'll place both collars on each other to hold them down in place and i'll just run a straight stitch on the middle or in the middle for anyone so yeah guys this is what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is to place my design in the middle make sure you get to the center of your square and also the center of the neck i'll just chuck that down and the first thing i'm going to do is to sew this down you can see what i'm showing you guys i'm going to sew this down i'll take this to my machine now to sew that down sew it on the inside not on the outside so here it is guys you can see this is looking very fine already i've gonna have to sew this down and i've gonna have to iron this so now the next thing to do is to use my pins to hold down those edges i've ironed earlier that is why i said it is very important for you to hold to iron down the edges you know so it can guide you when you are sewing because if you don't iron down the edges guys i won't lie it is going to be difficult for you when you're about to sew because you might even get the square in a wrong place you know so you need to hold them down in position first so they can guide you on where to sew when you are on your sewing machine you know this is a big material like it's a big material you're going to be dealing with so just do this to help you when you are sewing so i'll just go ahead to use office paint to hold down the edges and i'll take this to my sewing machine and i'll sew this don't forget you are going to be sewing this on the right side on this part where the pins are yeah so i'll just sew this down round and when you are sewing any material you're going to be using for your neck color and the design make sure it's the color of the thread you are going to be using so they can match so here it is guys i've gonna add to sew this you can see what it looks like so yeah we are basically coming to the end of our tutorial so guys the rest is simple the the next thing now is just to fold the um sleeve i'm going to fold this i'm going to fold this twice and run a straight stitch on it and i'll join the sides you know this is very simple to do just fold the um sleeves twice run a straight stitch on it and join the front and back together and i'll do the same thing for the other side so guys this is what they look like you can see these are very beautiful like i said you can be very creative with your neck design so guys please don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a big fat thick thumbs up right i'm going to see you all in the next video bye